Notion is an all-in-one workspace that you can use to organize your notes, plan your life, and customize to your heart's content. Hey guys, my name is Angie. I'm a second year medical student studying at the University of Melbourne, and I am a chronic Notion user. I love using Notion to make aesthetic designs because it makes studying and productivity a lot more enjoyable. Today, I'm gonna to show you guys how to design an aesthetic Notion page from the ground up. I'm gonna teach you the basics of Notion, and we're also gonna go through all the cool customizations that Notion has to offer as well. I think it's really important to start off by planning about how you want this page to look. So for me, I want this to have a two column, misty mountain kind of vibe. So let's start from the top and work our way down. The first thing to do is to add some cover art to our Notion page. So Notion has a lot of cool images. You can upload your own and you can also link your own as well. But I think something really powerful with Notion is that it has unsplash integration, which means that you can put your own royalty free images into your headers and various parts of your Notion workspace. So as we're going for this Misty Mountain vibe, let's just search Misty Mountain and just look through what we have. So I reckon this picture looks pretty cool, so I'm gonna put it in. So I wanna focus more on the green foresty part rather than the stone mountains. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click reposition and then I'm gonna bring this down. So I'm focusing more on the forest, but I'm still getting a lot of that misty effect. So I'm gonna save that position there and now we have our cover photo. So next we're gonna add an icon. Now, icons are a little way to customize each page and make it look a little bit more unique. So for this one, I wanna choose this herb because it kind of fits with this aesthetic that we have going on. And next we have to add a title. So since this is our home page, let's just call this home. So I like to start off each of my Notion home pages with a quote. So the way that we do that is we just click here and we press backslash. Typing backslash gives you access to all the different blocks that Notion has, such as text, page, heading, but the thing that I'm looking for is this thing called callout. So I'm just going to type out callout and we can see that this block is available to us. And I think it's really cute because essentially it gives you a place to put in a nice little icon. So in this case, let's put in a seedling because it fits with our foresty vibe. And the quote that I want to use here is supporting another's success won't ever dampen Okay, so now that we've done that, there's a few more formatting things that I want to change. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to these triple dots here, and we're going to change the font from the default to mono, which I think fits with this theme. And then I want to make each of these pages a full width page, because that gives us more space to work with. So as I said, I want this to be a two column page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press enter a few times, and I'm going to drag one of these blocks off to the side. And then Notion will intelligently essentially split this page into two. So the first thing that I want to do with this page is I want to add a daily section. And this is going to have my journal, my to-do list, and my habit tracker. So the way that we're going to do this is we're going to type backslash and we're going to go backslash gallery and we want to create a gallery in line. So this creates this thing where you have separate pages that you can access and I'm going to call this daily. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to rename everything into what it should be. So this is going to be my journal page. This is going to be my to-do list page and this one is going to be my habit tracker then to make it just look a little bit prettier I'm going to give each thing an icon um, so let's just for now just give them some basic icons and then I'm going to give a cover to each of these as well so just going with our misty mountain vibe let's do that and change this cover and let's just type in mountain put this one in all right, and so now that I've added cover pages, I want each of these to be displayed on these previews in the gallery. So what we're gonna to do to do that is we're gonna click these three arrows, we're gonna click properties, and then we're gonna click card preview, and we wanna see the page cover. And so now we have these images and these covers to match our aesthetic. All right, and so the next thing is a bit of a pro tip, but if you want your icons to actually look a bit better and a bit more minimal, what you can go to is a page like super.so slash icons, and you can use these icons. So you just click on the one that you want and it'll copy a link to your clipboard. You go to the thing that you want to replace. So in this case, this icon, I want to link it. I'm going to paste the link and I'm going to click submit. And now I have a nice minimal aesthetic icon as well. So I'm just going to do that with the rest of them. So I think this is looking really cool and aesthetic, but I think the other half of our page is missing a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to add an image to kind of balance that out. So to do that, we're going to type in backslash and then go image. And then I'm going to upload an image that I chose before. So I found this picture of a Misty Mountain. I think it looks really cool and it fits with the vibe. So we're going to go with that. 
So I think it's really important to alternate images and content on either half of your Notion homepage so it doesn't become too cluttered. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to add another image and I'm just going to upload it from this folder again. And now we can see that our homepage is becoming more filled, it's becoming more unique and it's completely fitting with that Misty Mountain vibe that we're going for. So we're going to fill in this section with a lot of pages that we're going to link to from our homepage. And so we're going to have several sections in here, including a personal section, a uni section, as well as a life section. The first thing that we're going to do is learn how to create headings. And the way that we do that is once again, we type in backslash and we can see that we have access to three headings, a heading one, heading two and heading three. So these are three different sizes. I'm going to go with heading two because it's a medium size heading. So I'm going to call this heading personal. I'm going to have another heading underneath called uni and another heading underneath that called life. And under each of these, I'm going to add a few pages. So under uni, I want to put in my subject guides, my assessments. Um, I'll add in a course schedule as well as a list of my assignments. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to highlight all of these. And this is another thing that we can do. So we just click on these six dots here and we can click turn into. And I wanna turn all of these into pages. So all at once, all of these um, just random text boxes have turned into pages, which means that if I click them, they will now open up a new page. You can also link to pages that you've made in the past. So for example, if I go back and I type in page and I can click link to page, it automatically allows you to search for pages that you've had in the past. So for example, I'm going to search in bookshelf and now I'm going to link to a bookshelf that I've made in the past. So now when I click this, I can access this bookshelf with all the books and things that I've read in the past and I can look at my notes. So we're going to go back to our personal page and we're going to add in a few more of these. All right, so now I've added in a few links from past pages that I've made to kind of fill this out a bit. And I've also made some new pages that I want as well, so for my uni schedule. But there's a few more things that we can do with Notion to really customize our vibe. So for example, one thing that you can do is that if you highlight something, you can change the color of the text. And they have really nice pastel colors on Notion. So for example, I might want this text to have a blue background and I want this uni text to have a green background and I want life to have a purple background. So this is a nice simple way of giving your Notion page a little bit of your own touch. And the cool thing is, is that once you start getting used to pressing backslash, you can access these commands a lot quicker. So for example, if I wanted to turn this into a yellow background, I could just type in yellow B and then this will turn into yellow automatically instead of me going through all of those menus. So we can see how we literally went from nothing to a really nice aesthetic homepage with this misty mountain kind of vibe um, with all the links that we need as well. So things to our personal life, our uni, as well as just our life in general. So I'm going to quickly teach you guys how to use templates as well because they can make our life a lot easier. So for example, with this course schedule, it's probably going to be really hard to make a table and then fill in everything by ourselves. So what we can do is when we have a blank page, we can click on templates and we can look at all these templates that Notion has for us. And so the one that I want to use here is this course schedule template here. So I'm just going to click use this template and Notion will automatically develop this template for you to use. And so now that we have this template, we can use it to fill in the things that we need to do with our course. So for example, if I have a biochem assignment to do, um, and let's say it's due on the 27th, the type is an assignment and it's on biochem. I can organize all these things by subject, by topic, by the due date, which is really cool. So for example, if I wanted to see my assessments based on due date, I could click sort and then I could click dates ascending as it is right now. But another really cool thing about Notion is the Kanban view that you can use. So if we just click here and we click add a view, we can click board and we'll click create. And now this is a completely different way of looking at it, this information. So we can see that these are the lessons that we have to do, these are the assignments, and these are the exams. So it's another way of visually representing your information. And of course, depending on the type of person that you are, for some people, this board might look better, but for other people, the original table might look better as well. So now that we've made the bulk of our homepage, we've learned how to use colors, we've learned how to make galleries, pictures, as well as make our own pages and fill them with templates. 
what we're gonna do now is just finish this page off. So a few more tricks that I wanna teach you guys is number one, if you press the hyphen key three times, one, two, three, you can create this nice lined break in the page which helps separate your information. And I usually like to put two of them. So we're gonna finish this off by firstly adding another quote. So once again, we're just gonna add a call out and we're gonna put this quote, I didn't come so far to only come so far. And the last thing that I'm gonna teach you guys is pretty cool and it's about widget integration. Okay, so widgets are just another way in that we can customize our notion and make it a little bit more aesthetic. It's a tiny bit more work, but the results are completely worth it. So indify.co is a really good site to get some of these widgets. And so some things that you can have are like quotes, a life progress bar, weather, um, a counter, countdown, and buttons that you can use as well. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna create a life progress bar. So all we do is we make an account and then we click create widget. So to make this widget, you have to write in a few things. So let's just say that I was born on the 1st of January, 2000 and I expect to live 80 years. So I like to get rid of all the bars in the middle. So month, week, day and quarter. And I like to leave just the year and the life. Uh, I want to leave the numbers as percentages and I want to make this dark mode because we're using dark mode on Notion. And so now that we have this widget, all we have to do is we have to press copy and we can go back to Notion and we can type in embed is the command that we're going to use and we're going to type in the link and copy paste that link. So it will take a second, but once we have this, we can now resize this to fill the page like this. And I'm just going to make it a bit smaller because it looks better when it's thinner like this. So I reckon this is pretty good for a basic Notion setup, guys, right? We have our nice aesthetic vibe going on. We learned how to use icons, callouts, galleries, images. We've learned how to embed things as well as make quotes and new pages and use the templates as well. So I'm going to put a link in the description below so you guys can access this really aesthetic homepage. But hopefully this was useful for you guys in terms of learning the different types of Notion blocks and planning and organizing your Notion homepage. So that's the end of the video, guys. Like if you enjoyed it, subs if you loved it, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.